Patty Cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me well. Cookie takes a break. One day, Daddy made an exciting announcement. My kittens, today we're visiting an aquarium. We'll see all kinds of fish and octopuses. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! But first, you need to pick your train track up off of the floor. In case it causes a toy train kitten collision. <laughs> we'll clean up now. Sounds wonderful. And Daddy will buy our aquarium tickets online. We built such a gigantic train track that it'll take us forever to put it away. Well, we'd better get started then. Tidying up wasn't Cookie's favorite thing to do. Uh, uh, uh. Cookie, can you put the controller in the box? It's too heavy for me. Uh, uh. Cookie, did you drop that heavy train switch on your paw? Uh, yes, ow, yes, dropped it right on my paw. Oh, it hurts so much. I guess I can't help tidy up. Right, when you injure your paw, you really should go lie down. However, just lying there and waiting was pretty boring. Cookie? Ouchie! Get off your paw or it'll never oh. get better. But I'm thirsty. I'll get you something to drink. And if you need something else, just tell us and we'll help you. Cookie started to rather like that having a sore paw ah. made everyone help him out. He started calling pudding and candy for every little thing. I'd love to have an apple. Uh, on second thought, I'd love a pear more. Then Puss in Boots asked the princess. How are you, Cookie? Are you feeling any better? No, nope, my paw's still hurting. Shouldn't we tell Mommy? We shouldn't bother Mommy about one little sore paw. What if she sends me off to the hospital? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should put some ice on your paw. Please don't do that. I'd probably catch a cold from all the ice. If we had a time machine, we could use it to return to earlier. Mm. And keep Cookie from hurting his oh. paw. Oh. Ah. <sighs> but there's no such thing as a time machine. I'm sure my paw will get better on its own, but not yet. Hey, I think some cartoons would really help. Look, kittens, I just printed out our tickets to the aquarium. Ah! Oh! Uh. Daddy! Ah, goodness, looks like dear old Daddy just had a major train collision. The bruise isn't too bad, but Daddy cannot drive anywhere today. Now, kittens, why didn't you clean up like we asked you to? We were cleaning, but Cookie dropped the control box right on his paw. Then we started caring for Cookie instead. Um, to be honest, the box didn't really fall on my paw. Um, and my paw didn't really hurt at all. But why did you tell us that it was hurting? Well, at first it was because I really didn't want to help clean up. But then I really liked it that you were taking such good care of me. It's your fault we can't go to the aquarium today because Daddy's hurt his leg on the train set. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry. We're still going to go. I can drive us all there. And Cookie won't be doing anything like that again, will you, Cookie? I won't. Never again. I promise. I'm sorry, Daddy. I know what to do. Before we leave, we should clean up the rest of the railroad tracks so no one else gets injured. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cookie was a good kitten, to tell the truth. And he realized it's best to help out and not just think about yourself. Treasures of Ancient Egypt. One day, Dad had picked Pudding up from school. Hey, Pudding, welcome home. How is school today? I have a homework project for the weekend. I have to prepare a report on ancient Egypt. How interesting. Nah, not really. How much is there to say about Egypt? There's pyramids and sand and that's all. 
<laughs> Don't forget the palm trees. <laughs> ancient Egypt is actually quite a fascinating subject. For one thing, the ancient Egyptians used to believe cats brought them good fortune. Really? And the pyramids contain precious treasures that are very difficult to find because it's easy to get lost in all the tunnels. Cool! Well, how about tomorrow we all take an expedition to ancient Egypt? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Somebody turn the alarm off. We don't have to get up for school today. It's the weekend. Wake up, kids. Did you forget we're exploring ancient Egypt today? Oh, <laughs> Mommy! You look really beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. In fact, the most beautiful woman in ancient Egypt was considered to be Queen Cleopatra. That picture is really funny. The head's sideways, but the body's front ways. That's because they had certain rules for drawing. Everyone had to obey the rules. Drawing differently was not allowed. Whoever was more important was drawn bigger in size. For example, a warrior was drawn bigger than a common Egyptian. And the most important and highest of all was the pharaoh, the king of Egypt. In fact, the pyramids were built for pharaohs in the first place. Inside of them, there are chambers full of treasure and mummies. And here's a map for you. Awesome! In ancient Egypt, they wrote in what is called hieroglyphics instead of words and letters. Oh, it's hieroglyphics, right? Yes, it's a kind of writing that uses pictures. Look for the good fortune hieroglyphs. They will show you the way. Awesome! <laughs> Come on, let's find the treasure right now! <laughs> Right. Mom said we need to find the hieroglyph for good fortune. But what do they look like? Uh, how about like this? The ancient Egyptians thought that cats brought good fortune. Mommy said that, remember? I think I know how to find it. Let's follow these cat pictures on the map. Bet that's how we're supposed to find the treasure. <laughs> Hold on, huh? who exactly is that lying in my huh? bed? Hmm? <laughs> 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 Hi, Grandpa. Why is your entire body covered with toilet paper? I'm not your grandfather. I'm a real live Egyptian mummy. <laughs> and I'm guarding the Pharaoh's treasure. <laughs> <laughs> Run! <laughs> 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 Get up, dear Mummy Grandpa. <laughs> Our exciting exploration of ancient Egypt has come to a close. It was very fun and interesting. Now I'll have so much to say at report time. Thanks so much. But there's something you forgot. Don't my little Egyptologist want to find out what's inside the treasure chest? Oh. Yes, I carved those for you. Out of wood, ouch. So you'll remember that cats are lucky. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy, Daddy, and Grandpa spent the rest of the day pretending to be ancient Egyptians with the kittens who saw that any topic is interesting if you make learning fun. Inventing an invention. One day, the kittens were walking past their friend Dart's house. Hmm? Hi there. Hi there. Hello, Dart. We're headed to the park. Do you want to come? I can't. I've been trying to invent something useful, but unfortunately, I'm finding it really tricky. We could help you with your problem. A bunch of heads are better than one. Together we would have one, two, three, four heads. We'll, we'll help, help you. you. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. A good invention needs to be really useful. Huh, could we make an invention that would do all my teeth brushing for me? <laughs> Hey, my teeth are up here. 
It's probably a little easier to just brush your own teeth. You're right. How about a boiled onion detector? Which would tell you if what you're eating has any onions in it. Onions are so yucky, they must be stopped. Uh, onions detected. Uh, onions detected. Uh, run for your lives. There are onions in the soup. Uh, you could just ask if there are any onions in your dinner. You're right, it would. What about a machine that would help you with deciding things? Hmm, which one should I wear? inventions like that, everybody would just stop thinking for themselves. Darling, have a great day. I'm off to work. Uh, oh my. Did you pick this outfit yourself, dear? <laughs> nah, this thing does all my thinking for me. Oh, yeah, bad idea. What about a machine that takes your hat off? Uh, or one that'll knock on a door? Or fluff up pillows? Or, or, ah. Uh... We've got nothing good. See what I mean? I've been trying to invent a useful invention all day and not a thing. I have a really good idea. We need to go for a walk. Mommy always says if you're stuck on something, you should take <gasps> a break and go for a nice walk. You're right. What Dart needs is some fresh air and sunshine. Ah. <laughs> The kittens had lots of fun at the playground. Dart didn't think about inventing his invention the whole time. <laughs> it's really good we decided to take a break. It's a beautiful day. Oh, Eureka! Huh? Taking a break! I think I have my invention. The next day, Dart invited the kittens over to show off his useful invention. My super useful invention will remind you to take breaks regularly. Wow, great! When the alarm sounds, that means it's time for a break. The arrow picks a fun thing to do while you take the break. Like riding a bike. That's brilliant! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to his friends, the kitty cats, Dart found out that it's great to take a break if you're stuck on something, especially if you'd like to invent an amazing invention. Kitty Fun Fair. One day, an exciting traveling fun fair came to town. We're headed to a real life fun fair. Oh boy, this is going to be the best day ever. We should try every single ride there. It's a shame that the fair is only here for one day. Kittens, don't worry. We'll all have a really wonderful time. Right. We'll take pictures after every ride so we'll never forget the fun time. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Yay! <laughs> Cookie wanted to ride the roller coaster with the really big loops. Hmm. I'm sorry, little fella, but this ride isn't suitable for kittens. You have to be taller than this to ride it. Well, what if I crawled up on Pudding's shoulders so that oh. we'd look as tall as a grown-up? Well, you are taller, but you still look too young. Hmm? Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. We can make mustaches and beards out of cotton candy so everyone thinks that we're grandpas. It's not about how old you are, but how tall. If you're too short, the seatbelt won't hold you in. Whoa! 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 That is very not 
not safe. Let's go to the fun house with the crazy mirrors that makes us look wobbly. That'll cheer us up. <laughs> 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 Happy faces for the picture album. I didn't oh. find that very fun at all. Huh? Well, first my tail looked enormous, then it was too little. Then I looked all wonky and crooked. <laughs> yeah, fun house. There's more attractions over there. Look, we must ride the adorable ducks. No way. Let's try that haunted house there. Is it really scary in there? No way. It's the coolest. Yeah? Okay, then. Well, then I'm going to ride the ducks. All right. Have fun, kittens. Daddy and I will wait here. We'll take a nice photo of your smiling faces when you're back. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> ah that spider's just made of plastic. <laughs> and that snake's just made of rubber. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the picture! Well, we don't seem to have any happy pictures so far. I was very scared. I wanted the ducks to go fast. Nothing was real on that ride. There are more attractions over there, darling. <laughs> My phone battery ran out. Attention guests, the huh? traveling fun fair will be closing huh? soon. And we still haven't got a photo where everyone is happy. And the fun fair is moving on tomorrow. <laughs> I have a really good idea. We just need to find a ride that everybody will like, even if we can't take a photo. Yeah. The kittens and their parents decided to ride the Ferris wheel. Oh. Wow, we're really high. It's sort of scary, but it's really cool as well. And it's really beautiful. Ha <gasps> <laughs> ha, Cookie looks like someone's grandfather. At least now you can get on the rides that are just for grown-ups. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like we'll get our picture after all. Everyone, now we have a happy picture for the Fun Fair album. And we are all smiling in it. Yeah, but Daddy blinked, though. Oh, no, I've ruined the whole thing. I think we have time for one more ride, and we'll get another chance at the picture. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> the Ferris wheel turned out to be the kitty cat family's favorite ride and helped make the trip to the fair a really special happy being together memory for them all. One lovely morning, friendly Mr. Mail Cat was delivering packages and letters in his mail truck. But something went a little bit wrong. Hey! Wait! Oh, no! Looks like somebody won't be getting their packages at all. I bet they really wanted them, too. Hey, why don't the three of us deliver them? I always thought being a mail cat would be awesome, and here's our chance. We're, We're mail cats. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. But the water had smudged the addresses on the packages. How would the kitty cats know who to deliver them to? I've got a great idea. We can guess who the packages are for by studying what the boxes look like. This one is a pretty box, all tied up with a nice ribbon and bow. Now, who likes pretty things? Cupcake, Cupcake does. does. My goodness, it's beautiful. And this one looks like it has a nice warm sweater inside. So it must be for Boris. He's always catching colds. I think there's a black umbrella in this one. And who do we know that loves the color black? Why, Smudge, of course. Oh. <laughs> But who is this last package for? Maybe it's gears and bolts for Dart. Or maybe some space gadget for Chase? Let's put the mystery box aside for now. Let's deliver the other ones, all right? The kitty cats delivered Smudge's package first, but it wasn't an umbrella after all. It was a tablet, and it was very, very not black. Oh, it's painful. Yuck! Their next stop was Boris's house to deliver the nice warm sweater. Oh no, this isn't the hat I wanted at all. I wanted the rainbow colored one with jingly bells. 
And Cupcake got the package with the pretty ribbon and bow. Uh, what is this? My head looks like a circus tent. Now we just have to figure out who the last package is supposed to go to. Hey, wait! I didn't order a silly-looking clown hat. I ordered a pink tablet. Then who do you think ordered the silly-looking hat? Well, someone who likes clowns, right? Oh, well, that would be Boris. That looks more like what I wanted. I look just like a real-life funny clown now, right? <laughs> <laughs> You'd never, ever see something that black on a clown. But you would see it on Smudge. Hooray! My sweater! Nice and gloomy. It really looks great on you, Smudge. This must be the pink tablet that Cupcake was expecting. It's just so pretty! The kitty cats had now delivered all the packages to their rightful owners, except for the mystery box. We should open it up and see what's inside. Then we can figure out just whose it is. I'm not supposed to open someone else's mail. Then how should we handle this? I'm tired of carrying it everywhere. <laughs> huh? Mr. Mail Cat's return was a very welcome sight. Oh, candy, cookie, pudding. A few packages seem to have fallen out of my truck. I don't suppose you three have seen them. Oh, looks like that's one of them. We found your missing boxes. And we delivered them to their rightful owners ourselves. Oh, thanks very much. I was getting a little bit worried they were lost for good. But we couldn't figure out who was supposed to get this package. Well, if the label is blurry, we could check the number on the side. It's package number 125, and here's the address. Let's all deliver some mail! Yay! Well, we're here. Oh, but this is our house. Yep, it surely is. It's also where this package belongs. So you're telling us that we just delivered a package to ourselves? We're, We're milk cats! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The mystery box turned out to be a package of gifts from Grandma. How kind! The three uh, kitty cats felt great that they helped deliver joy and happiness to their friends and themselves. Uncle Muffin! One day, the kitty cats rampaged around all day long. <laughs> and when bedtime came, they did not want to go to sleep. I give up. I'm sorry, but I think it's time. You want me to call him? You sure? Mm -hmm. uh, hey, you know what, kittens? Guess who's coming over to see you tomorrow? Uncle Muffin! <gasps> to stay with you kids while Dad and I take care of some things. So awesome! awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next morning, Uncle Muffin made a big entrance. <laughs> hey, what's up, oh, baby brother? <laughs> oh, great to see you. Oh, howdy, my yeah. niece and nephews. I haven't seen you for so long. Wow, look how big you are. I guess you don't remember me at all, right? But that's cool. After this day together, you will, yeah? <laughs> Go on, Mommy and Daddy. We're fine. Woohoo! <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Muffin turned out to be lots and lots of fun. He played with the kitty cats just like he was one of them, not worried at all about being responsible. But wait! We need to clean the feathers up, guys! Cleaning up's boring. Instead, let's jump on the couch! <laughs> hey! <laughs> 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 We busted the couch. Uh, we should probably fix it. Yeah, or not. Let's play ball instead. Hey! Yeah, let's! Huh? <laughs> ah! oh! Oh! Uncle Muffin? We really need to hang the clock back up. Nah, I'd rather go jump in some puddles. <laughs> hey! Oh! <laughs> Uncle Muffin is behaving really, really badly. Let's lock him outside, where he can't break any more stuff. Yeah, but what if he breaks down the door? Hey! Huh? <laughs> well, maybe if 
we sing him a lullaby, he'll fall asleep. Uncle Muffin, that's enough. Go to sleep, stop breaking stuff. But I love breaking, as in breaking out hot tunes. Naughty cat! Naughty cat! Yeah, your lullaby is not going to help us here. We should find some magical snooze candy. Oh, yeah. Is it all? Hmm. <laughs> Shame there's no such thing as magic sleep candy. Hey, <laughs> nephews and niece, come give me a big huggy poo. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, really? Kind of like a group of kittens was behaving yesterday. Who? Oh, you're talking about the three of us, right? What? No way! I don't want to be like Uncle Muffin. Me neither. Not at all. I have a really good idea. The answer is to behave ourselves. Then we'll be nothing like Uncle Muffin is. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Seems like you have all learned your lesson. That's the reason I played my role. Hmm? Uncle Muffin's a talented actor. We invited him to show you exactly what misbehaving too much can look like. Of course, in real life, your Uncle Muffin isn't like that at all. I should say not. Really, I always listen to others, and I'm quite well-mannered. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Everyone pitched in to clean up the big mess Uncle Muffin had made in the house. And the kitty cats behaved beautifully, helping out and having fun. A picnic! It was a lovely day, so Mommy and Daddy decided to take cookie, candy, and pudding on a picnic. The kitty cats packed all the important stuff they would need. I'm going to make so many sandcastles! And I'm going to try to pull off some extreme outdoor reading. And I'm going to run around. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. So much yummy stuff to eat. A picnic's just not a picnic without a basket full of yummy. Make sure we didn't forget anything. Cookie, and you candy, and pudding. It's picnic time. All right. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. <laughs> To the picnic we go, and we love picnics so. Oh, we all just can't wait. Golly, picnics are great. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is beautiful. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's picnic. Holy, where'd our picnic basket go? Well, I don't know. It could still be at home, I guess. Uh. Or it could be that we lost it. Oh, no. Not our basket of yummy. <laughs> hey, why don't we just take a rocket check back home, grab the yummy basket, and zoom right back? Nice idea. But Cookie Rockets can't land if there's lots of trees around. Ah! Then why don't we just order a pizza, Mom? Oh, Candy, the pizza guy can't deliver a pizza to the address somewhere in the woods, kind of near that pond thing. But I'm sure that your very clever father can come up with something. Uh, hey, a fishing rod. I can catch us something yummy. So we can still have the picnic. <laughs> <laughs> While Mommy and Candy looked for branches and sticks to make a fire, Daddy Cookie and Pudding had a go at fishing. Where are the fish, Daddy? Where? Where? Fishing is all about patience. Oh. Oh. Daddy, Cookie, and Pudding were patient, but the forest pond just didn't have any fish in it. We have enough wood for a nice fire. All we caught was a cheeky frog. And even he jumped back in the pond. Uh. What if we all hunt for something to eat over there in the woods? Mom's got the right idea. Daddy, you start the fire while we go look for mushrooms. All right, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we gotta eat something. Pudding used his fungus guide to check which mushrooms were safe to eat. 
and which were poisonous. Look at all these mushrooms! Let's get these cooking, Daddy. I'm afraid the matches were in the basket with the food. Oh. Well, there is no way that we're eating raw mushrooms. Uh, we could rub sticks together, which is how they made fire in ancient times. That's science. Excellent thinking, Pudding. <laughs> Let's help Daddy. We can blow, too. <sighs> Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we made fire! Our picnic's officially back on the right track. Well, the picnic is grand, though it's not what we planned. Oh, it's fun just the same, and we're real glad we came. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like the mushrooms are almost done. And then for dessert, blueberries, cranberries, and raspberries. It turned out that Mommy had secretly picked a whole bunch of berries in the woods. Amazing! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Against all odds, it turned out to be a great picnic, and the whole family was very happy. Playing in the dark. One night, Mommy and Daddy went out to dinner and left the kittens at home with Grandma. Grandma, will you play with us, please? I have to finish making your dinner before I can play, darlings. But you three just go ahead and I'll join in when I'm finished. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Lights went out. <laughs> Did I clap too hard? Ah, cookie pudding, what happened? I'm afraid of the dark. Why? What's there to be afraid of? But you were just blindfolded when we were playing, and that's the same thing as being in the dark. But wearing a blindfold isn't nearly as dark as real darkness. Kittens, where are you? Grandma! It looks like every single light in the house is out, but everything's going to be all right. We need to head down to the cellar to find some flashlights. But it's even darker down there. Maybe we can wait up here for the lights to come back on? But what if they stay off for a long time? We'll be fine down there, kittens, because we'll all be together the whole time. Well, all right. <laughs> Careful going down the steps, dears. Uh, Goodness, what's the matter, Candy? I'm frightened. It's even darker down there, you know. I'm not even a bit scared, and I'll tell you why. Because darkness is our friend. There are many beautiful things that we never see without it, like the lovely glimmer of this candlelight and the twinkling stars. These wonderful things can only be seen in the dark. The stars aren't up there. <gasps> oh, wow! Not to mention there's a great deal of fun to be had when you're playing in the dark, especially if you can get your paws on a flashlight. <laughs> Come and look at this candy. Look, it's a duck. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a mountain. Look, Cookie Mobile. <laughs> And this is a butterfly. Whoa, I just got very hungry. Yeah, I'm starving. Goodness, kittens, I'm afraid I forgot to finish dinner in all the confusion. Let's try to root out something to eat down here. Something which doesn't need any cooking. I already found something awesome. Cookies. And I see apples over here. I've got carrots. Dinner uh -huh. is served. Oh. oh, and look, the lights are back on as well. 
Oh, no. But we were having all that fun in the dark. And it wasn't really scary at all. Uh. Hey, I just had a really good idea. See, now we can play in the dark again all we want. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Goodness, kittens, what's going on in here? Has the electricity gone out? Yeah! Oh. It did go out, but it's on again. We just have the lights out because the dark is fun. Why, Candy, you're not afraid of the dark anymore? That's just wonderful. Well done. Come over here, everyone, and enjoy our shadow show. And that's how Candy learned that darkness is really nothing to be afraid of. And playing in the dark can be a lot of fun. Mommy's cold. One day, Mommy had caught a cold and had to stay in bed. Here's your breakfast, kittens. Achoo! Achoo! Oh, I'm just going to go take Mommy some porridge and honey and lemon. Our um, poor Mommy. Being ill is no fun at all. I hope that she gets better really quickly. Well, we could help her feel better. What if we did something really nice for her? Oh, yeah. Maybe by cheering her up, we can make the cold go away. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I once heard Grandpa say that laughter was the best medicine. If we really want Mommy to laugh, let's put on a clown show! <coughs> <laughs> Mommy will laugh so much, she'll get better right away. Hot water bottle to keep your toes warm. Here, have some lovely honey with lemon. Uh, thank you, my darling. Achoo! The kitty cats will now perform the funniest show that you've ever seen. We added laughter medicine. <laughs> la, 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 la. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Mommy's having much fun. Kittens, could the three of you please go play in your room? You shouldn't be near Mommy just now. You don't want to catch her cold as well. Aww. But how are we going to help Mommy if we can't be in the room where she is? We could play a nice concert for her outside. Let's do it! Yeah. I've heard that music can make cats feel better. The rain had stopped, and the kittens were ready to start their concert. One, two, three. Let's begin! <laughs> Darling, what is that strange noise I hear? Um, kittens, could you find a different place to practice, please? Mommy needs peace and quiet to rest. How are we going to do something nice for Mommy if she can't see us or hear us? We could bake her a delicious cake and then bring it to her. But we don't know how to bake a cake pudding. Well, I've watched Daddy do it a bunch of times. The first thing we're going to need is eggs. And flour, right? Kittens, what was that? Oh, me wow. We were baking Mommy a cake so she'd feel better. We want her to feel so good that her cold goes away. Thank you very much for trying to help Mommy. But for now, we just need to be patient and give her time to get better. And I'll do everything I can to take perfect care of her. It's a real shame I can't make the sun shine for her. You're right. Mommy's always really happy when it's sunny out. I have a really good idea. Hmm. Ah. Uh huh? Darling, look there. The sun is coming out. Just look what a beautiful, bright, shiny sun the kittens have made for me. It's really, really cheering me up. I'm beginning to feel better already. Mommy started to feel better, and Daddy allowed the kittens to visit her. Mommy! Oh, how are you feeling now, <laughs> Mommy? I'm feeling much better. 
My lovely kittens really cheered me up. And with all that rest and quiet, I'm really much, much better now. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> oh, darling, sounds like you need some bed rest. I think it's my turn to take care of you for a while. <laughs> we'll draw a rainbow to make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> the kittens learned that rest and relaxation is the best cure for a cold and a sprinkle of kitten sunshine. The Sock Puppet Saga. One day, Mommy brought up a big box from the basement. Take a look. This box is full of your old toys. Hooray! I can't wait to play with all of them! <laughs> First, you have to look through all of these and then decide which toys you want to keep and which toys to give away. Once you're done with that, you can play with them. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> <laughs> look at this! It's Cheeky, my old sock puppet! Hello! Mommy told us many stories about Cheeky, how Cheeky would eat all the sweets. And he sneaks and tugs on kittens' tails in the night. Cookie, we're trying to sort through toys here. Your stories really aren't helping. Hey, I'm helping out. Like, for example, I've decided Cheeky stays. Yep, yep. Ow! Cookie, that hurts! Stop! I'm not Cookie, I'm Cheeky! No, you're not. You're just my brother with a puppet. Oh, hey, Cookie, stop that! I'm Cheeky! Try and catch me if you can! <laughs> Looks like we'll have to catch Cheeky if we want to get our work done. Huh? to track Cheeky down. Detective Bowtie always gets his puppet. <laughs> Detective Bowtie and Sheriff Sweetie set out to find Cheeky. Always, and the detective and the sheriff were both chasing him. They were chasing very fast, so they didn't see the bull. Huh. Are you telling me that socks with buttons for eyes are to blame? Yeah! Uh. I didn't have any idea that sock puppets could do such things. Does that sound right to you, Kitten Mitten, my kitchen mitt puppet? It was just Kitten Mitten doing it. La, 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 bla. Um, sorry, Mommy. It was us who broke the bowl and made this mess. I guess it's probably better if we put Cheeky and the detectives away. <laughs> I have a really good idea. We should clean up the mess and stop blaming the sock puppets for what we did. When we're done cleaning, we can put on a puppet play. Now that is a wonderful idea, Candy. Kittens, it is really important that you take responsibility for what you do. And don't dump the blame onto someone else, especially an old sock. <laughs> the kittens finished cleaning up and found another use for their puppets. <laughs> <laughs> I think this wonderful show could use another character or two. Don't you, Kitten Mitten? My goodness, but you're a handsome cat. And Sir uh -huh. Goofy McBook. <laughs> so awesome! <laughs> me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats and their parents had a lot of fun performing their puppet play. 